The Lost Hornbill Once upon a time, a hornbill named Ronnie was captured by hunters to be displayed in a zoo. From Sarawak, they flew to Kuala Lumpur and landed in Sepang in the evening. Ronnie was put in a cage, ready to be delivered to KL in a van. That night, along the journey, the van crashed and Ronnie's cage was broken. Ronnie took the chance to escape from them. The next morning, Ronnie was scared and confused. He was lost in a city called Klang. The atmosphere was different from his hometown. Then he continued to fly until he reached the city center where he saw a group of pigeons. There he met with Kuche, one of the pigeons there. Ronnie told Kuche that he got lost and Kuche willingly offered a helping hand to Ronnie to bring him back home. Hi, I'm Kuche, said Kuche. Hi, my name is Ronnie. I'm actually lost from my hometown, says Ronnie. Oh dear, so sorry to hear that. How can I help you, says Kuche. Ronnie told Kuche that he was from Sarawak. However, Kuche seemed confused and replied that he did not know where that exactly was. Ronnie started describing Sarawak to Kuche to help Kuche get an idea of what Sarawak looks like, but Kuche still does not understand where Ronnie is from. But Kuche still wanted to help Ronnie to find his home. He then told Ronnie he has a, he has a friend in Langkawi who might know where Sarawak is. They started their journey to Langkawi the following day. Their journey was accompanied by the beautiful scenery of paddy fields and villages in Kedah. Furthermore, the experience became richer with the sight of stunning beaches with crystal clear water when they arrived in Langkawi Island. Ronnie and Kuche went to meet Lang the Eagle. He is someone of an icon in the island. As they met Lang, they asked him if he knew anything about Sarawak, especially the location. Unfortunately, Lang also did not know a thing about Sarawak. Ronnie was sad and worried that he could not reunite with his family. However, Lang knows a parrot who lives in the forest that might know about Sarawak. The birds there called her the all-knowing parrot. Lang, without any further ado, brought them to meet the parrot. When they met the parrot, she seemed slightly older than they expected. Kuche and Ronnie doubted if she knew anything about Sarawak, but Lang convinced them. They asked the parrot if she knew anything about Sarawak. As soon as the parrot heard it, she became excited. She knew about Sarawak. Her ancestors were from there. Because of that, even if she has not been there, she knows about Sarawak from her parents' tales. She told them about how the people there lived and where they lived in. The parrot said the people there lived in longhouses on Rumah Panjang that is made of wood and wall loincloth. Lang and Kuche listened to the parrot attentively and seemed to believe everything she said. Ronnie felt the parrot was inaccurate and tried to correct the parrot. However, Lang and Kuche still believed the parrot since the parrot is older and is known as the all-knowing parrot. The parrot said that she knew where Sarawak was, 
and could guide them to Sarawak. Ronnie, Kuche, and Lang rested that night to prepare themselves for the long journey. The journey to Sarawak began as the sun rose. That long journey paid off as Kuche, Lang, and the parrot were shocked by what they witnessed. What they saw was not what they expected, and Ronnie proved them wrong. Ronnie took them on a tour to show them the people and culture of Sarawak. Firstly, the longhouses mentioned by the parrot have changed through the decades. Nowadays, longhouses are no longer made of wood. Instead, it is made of bricks like modern houses. They don't need to go to river to bath as every house has their own bathrooms. In the urban areas, there are people who live in bungalows and condominiums. The people in Sarawak are technologically advanced as well since many regions have been provided with internet access. Besides that, the people there own cars and motorcycles too as their means of transportation. They also take flights to move from one city to another. The all-knowing parrot apologized to Ronnie, Lang and Kuche for the misinformation about Sarawak. Kuche and Lang apologized to Rooney too for not believing him. We are sorry for the misunderstanding, Rooney, said Lang, Kuche and the parrot. Rooney replied, It's okay. After they had toured Sarawak, Rooney brought them to meet his family in the forest. When they arrived, Ronnie's parents were in tears, thinking they had lost Ronnie forever. Mujur kita sampai dengan selamat nak. Risau mak pak takut si dapat jumpa kita lagi. Ronnie then introduced Lang, Kuche, and the parrot to his parents. He explained to his parents that if it were not because of them, he would not be able to return home. Mun bukan kerana sidak, sidak kami boleh sampai sitok mak pak, tok kawan kami. Ronnie thanked the three of them for helping Ronnie find his way back home. After that touching moment, Lang, Kuche and the all-knowing parrot made their way back home before it got too late. They were relieved that Ronnie had returned to his family and learned about the people of Sarawak.